Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how you can get the maximum FPS on Valorant, and these are the only settings that you need to get maximum settings. But in the end, more FPS doesn't mean you are going to be better, it's just going to be a smooth play and what matters is good skills and stable internet. So, let's start. First of all, we are going to optimize the system, for that, go to game mode setting of Windows and you need to turn on game mode. Secondly, go to graphic settings, just below of game mode, if you don't find it you can manually search for it on settings, and it should have these options. Here, you need to find the Valorant app, and click on it, it should have by default, let the system decide selected, you need to select the high performance and save it. Some people also suggest adding your Riot client application and have high performance, but it is not required as it is just a launcher for your game. Now, scroll up and click on Change Default Graphic Settings. Here, you have to turn on Hardware Acceleration and Variable Refresh Rate. After turning on, you need to restart your system for it to take effect. Third, go to Display Settings, which should be under System Settings. There scroll down to Advanced Display and click on it. Here, you can see the option Refresh Rate, by default, it should be dynamic. Select the refresh rate as the highest, which your monitor support, for me, it is 144 Hz. Fourth, open your NVIDIA control panel and click on the Manage 3D settings. Under these settings, you can either manually go for individual program or globally for all programs, I prefer the global one but you can go for individual program and set it as I show. Under these settings, all that matters is four settings which are low latency mode, max frame rate, OpenGL rendering GPU, power management mode and all other settings can be set as default. Here, I have image sharpening turned on with sharpen of 0.3 and film grain of 0.7 for sharpen video quality, but you can turn it off if you want for higher quality and the video will be smooth. Moving to first settings, low latency should be off by default, select the ultra option under it, since in simple terms, we don't want to limit the number of frames the CPU should process as we have powerful CPU, and the GPU won't only be the one processing frame. Moving to second setting, max frame rate should be turned off as we want to utilize the maximum frame rate rather than optimizing for battery performance as mentioned under the description of max frame rate. Moving to third setting, OpenGL rendering GPU should be by default auto, select the NVIDIA graphic card as we have dedicated GPU to focus primarily on graphics. Moving to last option, power management mode, by default it should be normal, select the maximum performance under the option, as we want to utilize the maximum performance of the system and not limit the resources. Now, moving to the in-game settings, first of all, under the general setting, we want to move to the show mature content and turn it off. Here, I have turned it on and under the show mature option, turned off the corpses as it consumes GPU to render those corpses, hence reducing FPS. And turned on the show blood option, as I want to know when I hit my shots, it is clear to me as it shows blood animation. Moving to video settings, here you want to turn off all settings under general so, you won't limit your frame rate. Moving to graphic quality, turn on multi-threading, as you want to utilize all the cores present in the CPU. Here, material quality, texture quality, detail quality and UI quality are set to mid as it doesn't affect my overall FPS whether I set it as low or mid. I prefer the mid, since it provides better quality than low while sacrificing minor FPS of 10 or so. Next is VSync, which is turned off for me why? Since, it syncs your FPS with your refresh rate. As you can see when I turn it on, it sticks with 144 frames per second, which is my refresh rate of monitor. But I want higher FPS so, I turn it off. Now, the rest option can be turned off as turning on every option can reduce few FPS of 30 to 40 depending upon the situation. 
but here, I have turned on the bloom option for some visual. As you can see in the video, what happens when I turn it on and off. Now, last settings are dependent upon the laptop brands. As I have Asus, there is Armory Crate. These settings might be only valid for Asus and other brand laptops might have their own application, hence these settings can be ignored if you have different brand laptop. So, under Armory Crate, in the Home menu, to the right under System Configuration you want to turn off the Panel Power Saver as it lowers the FPS if you don't the system connected to the charger or power supply. Next go to Device and click on System option, under it, click on GPU Power Saving, by default, the GPU mode is under Standard, here you can select either Optimized or Standard mode, depending upon your preference. Next go to Scenario Profile and create a new profile, and name it as Valo. Now click on See Options and select your Valorant application. Now, here you can turn off Win Key and Touch Pad. If you have issues with Ms, click. Next to these settings, under Operating Mode DC, we want to utilize it for performance, hence select the performance from the list of options. Moving to Operating Mode AC, we want it turn on as Turbo. The app configuration settings can be as per user preferences. Lastly, click on Save to save the scenario profile. Now, go to Game Library and move your cursor above the Valorant and select the scenario profile as Valo, which we have recently created, so that whenever we open the game, the profile settings are implemented for the system. That's all the settings that you guys need to configure to get maximum FPS from your system. If you guys have any other questions, do comment down, I'll try to reply as soon as I can.